Star Destroyer. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show what I just found in my little vlog. Yep. That's it. That's, uh, the spaceship. A Death Star, it looks, in Star Wars. Yeah. Let's try it. Huh. I don't know what to do, but still. Yeah, I think we're all dead. Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new for a long time After Effects tutorial today. You guys wondered how I did this Star Story effect and you might think in certain videos man that has to be pretty hard to do guys but yeah um, to be honest it's actually easier than you ever so think of it. So let's get to it. All you need is a file, I mean, all you need is your own video of showing the sky and all that. And to be honest, I think I you're going to need like a DSLR type uh, footage because you get to like change the focus and certain areas are the most detailed and yeah, that's what you will need and then you'll need like a image you want in the sky. I picked a Death Star in this case. So. Let's try to get started on this. I'm going to bring this file to new comp. And as you can see, it's my own neighborhood. But yeah, it's not that bad. As you can see, I have the sky. It's rendering. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place it, cert it mostly in a spot. But it doesn't really matter because I'm trying to... Wait a sec. Yeah, you're going to need to go to your tracker tab here now click on your footage and then press track camera and it will automatically do this thing it will track your whole entire clip so all you just need to do now is just wait like I'll do right now Well guys, it looks like it's solving it right now, and I'm glad because that was like, what, a few minutes? <laughs> okay, it solved the camera, and now it's gone. So as you can see guys, we got all these track points. And guys, if you are wondering if you should do track points, no, don't do that. Just, no. So what you're going to do is find a good spot that before the ship or any object gets into to the appearance you're trying to find a track point that's pretty w good so for me I'm going to try out this specific three because that's what I used for my last one okay you click on them right click create null and camera so next thing you do is that you bring out your star destroyer that's why I love it. And mine is pretty big. You can say that. Um, so yeah, I put it to 3D space. That's what you need to do. And then the next thing you have to do is position. And then go to the track nulls position. Press control C or copy. And then control V here. And then you have the specific... Uh, yeah, you have these specific coordinates for it. So now I'm going to try to uh, get this into position. I'm going to use like anchor. See, now it's starting to track it and it's going through like all angles and all that. But if you want it to be like a bit better, go to Transform, Auto Orient, and I don't think you'll see the tab because of my recording software, but if it shows Orient towards camera, click that. And now it should look a bit better. 
But just to tell you, whenever it's off camera and you can't see it, well, yeah, so you you don't see it, and now you do, and that just looks awesome. Now, little tips on making these type of images and reality type scenarios. What you need to do is try to uh, copy all these if you are not to like uh, edit the, uh, the original footage. You select all except for the footage and then control shift C or pre-compose. I'm just going to call it Star Destroyer. Number one. Okay, now we got that started and still tracking as you can see. So I'm going to go to my comp right here. And yeah, everything is going pretty well. So what I did here was like duplicate and press G. I wanted to like make it a bit lighter on the outside. It doesn't really matter if you go off the image at all because for one thing it's not going to uh, mess up the footage itself which is a pretty good thing okay now since that I just separated the two yeah I'm going to go to my effects and presets gubs yes this is going to be so great and now I'm going to like brighten it up so that it will look like the original image because as you can see guys, this daylight time, it's not that, that dark on the bottom. It's sort of like off in the distance. Almost like dusk, I could say. Towards noon. Okay. Next thing is that before that, I forgot to do something. You need Gaussian Blur before that. Repeat Edge. And just like crack up the... Uh, the levels and it's pretty blurry and do the same to this one oh I didn't put it too blurry so yes now we did that part Okay, now it's time to get to the fun part. Editing and trying to make this look good. So, basically, that's mostly all I did here. Uh, huh. Did I put a gotcha blur here? Doesn't even look like it. Oh, I actually placed it here. Whoops. Did not mean that, guys. Don't do that, unless your image is too blurry or too sharp. But yeah, now I'm trying to do that. Drop down the opacity too. I placed mine to like 75%. And what will happen is that whenever you place it on the image, it will sort of give out this like matching look to the sky. Making it actually create this like, um, how do you say it? Oh, whoops. This one needs to be a bit lower. Yeah, so what's causing is like a tiny bit of a color match. So yeah, you don't need to really waste your time much on that part. Okay, I'm gonna like, yeah, just brighten it up. Oh crap. <laughs> no, not that bright. So for me, I'm just like going back and forth, back and forth on this okay next thing is to like have a feathering here so that it sort of blends in with the uh, the whole thing itself and now guys now that actually looks awesome than my previous image I mean like well sort of but yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like it actually belongs in the sky. So yeah, if you guys have any comments below, please, I am happy to help you. If you have any ideas on tutorials I can help with, 
like effects or what I can create for you guys, please just like type down below. And please, guys, subscribe and leave a like to the channel if you haven't now. And have a great time. I had fun doing this. And it was actually pretty fun going outside and like filming this. Like, I haven't done that in a long time. I have been like home, like just playing Minecraft. But yeah. Have a great time filming, guys.